Okay, we're headed out to pasture we call Section 9, and Henson's going to tell us what we're doing today. Tell us what's going on on the ranch. The grass is growing real slowly, <laughs> but it's growing. And we're going to get uh, four horses out of this pasture because I'm going to put some mares in there eventually. So there's some there's three studs we're gonna get out one building that are in this pasture and we're gonna put them at three corners and then we're gonna gather up some more mares and maybe start separating them to where they're gonna go. It'll take a it'll take quite a while because they're in two different herds. There's almost 50 horses that we'll gather today in uh, Cottonwood Seeps. And then there's 20 something in the river in Pinna. I don't think we're gonna get to all of them though. No, no, I'm just saying this. There's gonna be like 70 horses, 70 mares that we're gonna have to start separating. So it'll take a while. Okay, so this is what we do at the beginning of mm. breeding season. Yeah. Um, we gotta get pastures cleared out and everything separated so this pasture that we're going to has a few in there that we need to get out move to another pasture and then um let me show you this thing move your arm this book has the game plan, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so Henson and Jerry did this the other day. They uh, wrote down studs and mares. So tell us about this paper. Um, well, Danielle got a computer and a printer and I was hoping she would type that out. I don't, I don't know, even know you use a computer and a printer for besides typing stuff out and making it look pretty. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have time to oh, well. type all that out. But what were you saying about these papers? Uh, tell us, tell us about our um, our herds this year. Last year we had uh, seven studs with eleven mares each, right? Yeah, it's pretty much the same. But we're gonna we're breeding some. Uh, we kept some two-year-olds that I'll end up riding sometime. I put them with a stud. I don't even know if they'll get bred. Okay. But uh, yeah, there's there's gonna be like eighty. Okay. So how many studs this year? Same. Uh, One. Se seven. Two. But also. Uh, three. One stud's gonna get two, so there's gonna be eight studs that. Five. Only one's getting three. Seven, eight. Okay, eight studs, but a couple of these are only getting a few. Well, he's getting three. Salty doesn't get more. I just didn't know the two-year-old's names. Oh, so these this still has to be filled out? With names? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is our high-tech breeding paper people always say how do you guys know which mare is, is bred, what is bred by what yeah <laughs> you write it down <laughs> <laughs> you don't it's not like cattle you put cattle and you put a bunch of bulls out and then you just let them get bred you can't do that with horses so tell people what we do we separate them okay so separate. each stallion yeah each gets stallion a pasture gets own pasture with so many mares and they're in there like three months with them and the foals are born there and people freak out that the foals are born with the stud and um, I guess maybe some studs we can't do that but we gotta do that with ours don't have a problem don't have a problem no the mares is a, mares will keep the stud away if she thinks she needs to. And other mares will too. They're, um, 
Yeah, the other mirrors will protect the bowl too. But I mean, we never have a problem. Okay, so um, we're here. Are we driving in? Yeah, sure, let's drive in. Wow, look, there's our cash is already here. Okay, let's open this gate. It's kind of chilly today. So here's Cash. He's an older gilding that's that was bred here. Um, he rides. Kids can ride him. Um, but look at him. This is pasture condition right here. People always say, what do they eat? But they sure eat good, whatever it is. So him and three others are here. I think I see one out here. Is that the only one you see, hon? No, I see yeah, another one further out. Okay, so they're pretty close by. Henson's gonna catch Cash. I don't know how long it's been since we ever caught him. It's been months and months. I got this little uh, mic deal that has the windbreaker sponge thingy on it. I don't know if it helps. Let me know, guys. It's just a little cheapy one that I bought from Walmart. I feel like it does a pretty good job. Pretty decent. pretty chilly today. I think our high is supposed to only be in the 50s. Well, that was pretty easy. We teach them that when they're babies and keep making them face you every time you catch them. And they just know how. It's just a, a foundation principle. It stays with them. <laughs> Here comes RKR. What can you tell us about him? Uh, he had two big knees so we don't ride him anymore. So this is yeah. RKR. He's a Bay Roan. Hasn't been caught in months and months either. Yes, he's a stallion. And this is his condition, being straight out of the pasture. How old is RKR? Uh, I don't know, he's not. I think. He's in the teens. I think we said in one of our other videos, but. He's not young. This stallion is the mean guy. Right? Uh, yeah, if they're all together, he's the top stallion. He's dominant. Dominant, yeah. Everybody stays away from him. And if you have, um, so Cash kind of hangs out. Usually the Gillings hang out with him, that's it. Or the younger. Um, so if I was to put a 
yearlings in this pasture, they'd all hang out with me. I don't know why. <laughs> but not the other studs. Watch out if you're another stud. The, the guild would be the yearling stud colts or gildings. But yeah, he's a super nice horse. His foals ride really nice. How much color does he throw? He's all over the board. He's not a color producer. I mean, he'll throw a roan, but he's, he's had bays, sorrows, chestnuts. Yeah, he's all over. He's not even curious about who's in the trailer. He's all brushed. Looks very nice. Huh, RKR. He's handsome boy. Hmm. She has a lot of anxiety. I don't need to give her more by backing her out. You're making jokes? This is Betty. <clears throat> She'll be going home soon. This is a, a mare out of, uh, by Monster. Are you um, right now? Yeah. with her or the other? Okay, so let me get my horse out. Monster babies, remember I told you? They love to eat. Even Monster, he'll eat tumbleweeds. She just ate a tumbleweed. See? There's green right under her. She eats the tumbleweed. <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. This is Ghost. We'll be riding him today. Okay. Got all the kinks worked out. I'm gonna head out. Henson left me behind. Him and Betty are already at it. I think they went they went north. I'm gonna go south. Okay, here comes Henson. It's actually windier today than I thought it was going to be. Sorry if it's windy in the video. Ghost sees them. You probably can't see them in this GoPro. It's too far away, but we see them. They're coming in. Night Owl has a bum knee too, so he's limping along. Looks like Betty's doing pretty good. So that's Night Owl and Monster. Betty's chasing her daddy. Tied up, see? Shh. This is 
is why I'm not on Zar. Hanson's gonna go grab a halter for Monster. <clears throat> Night Owl's out there, afraid of the boss man, RKR. Hi, get. Now you know what we mean by our KR being the alpha. Night Owl doesn't even want to come in. Hey Lincoln. Yep, Lincoln. Monster doesn't even want to walk by him. Oh, snap. Hey. <laughs> okay, I got these two here. We're just waiting. Henson put Monster in the alley and he's gonna go out and just walk out there and catch the other guy. why Jerry and Nancy call it the Painted Desert Ranch. Let's see what he does. He's like, I ain't walking by that guy. Okay, so we'll get everybody loaded up and haul these guys out to three corners. Monster starting some dreads. There's Night Owl. There's his pasture condition. Okay, close that divider and the four are back here. Here's a little closer look at the list. So stallion name is right here. The 
pasture that they're going in is here. These are all the mares. And they're all written down by registered name with color next to it. What are these numbers? numbers on the horse, on the rump. Because a lot of those are hard to tell. A lot of the same colors, kind of. Yeah, no marking. So there's Night Owl Monster. When uh, we have Jerry here with us, I'll have him go over some of these mares and let you guys know some of his favorite mares and crosses and why he likes them and stuff so hopefully we can catch up with Jerry here soon there's Trigger he'll be in a new pasture this year Texas Texas Gather the mares. Oh my goodness. Look at that baby. <laughs> <laughs>